Bitcoin holder warning. Now it's starting. In this video, we are going to delve into a number of absolutely incredibly powerful alpha metrics that are going to decide for us right now whether we're going to continue the rally or not. And if you guys are subscribed to my Crypto Bliss channel, then you personally would find the most beautiful benefit of seeing all the alpha that I'm sharing with you about these cryptos. I can see my Bitcoin videos for some reason are not getting the views that they should be getting. But guys, the Bitcoin charts are exponential right now and they are the strongest leading indicator to tell us about the absolutely powerful mega bull run we have coming up so welcome back to the show i'm kiara cast let's delve right into the content today i'm not even going to waste another moment here once again to you so if you have a look at this the russian court orders a seizure of nearly 440 million dollars of jp morgan funds tit for tat maybe maybe not whatever it is we don't know whatever it is we don't actually know but does it really matter other than the fact that i have also just been showing you that this dude mr jamie diamond is deceiving you and buying bitcoin in the background while you know they're losing a small 440 million dollars they'll get that money back there's no doubt about it um you know this is what's happening out in this space. And if you look at us, JP Morgan upgrades this beaten down payment stock, says it can surge 50%. Now, JP Morgan is obviously taking a huge beating, especially after, um, you know, he's been caught deceiving, like the, the crypto space. Nobody wants to be deceived in this crypto space. And that's why you need to only subscribe to the best of the best channels in the space. And that doesn't mean that the best has got millions of uh, subscribers. The best are people that are consistently here with you, regardless of the view count, that we are here with you. I've been with you guys for more than four and a half years now and done over 958 videos for you. If you appreciate that love, then let's delve right into the content today. So, Bitcoin to explode to $135,000 by the end of 2024, courtesy of these three catalysts, says Bitco CEA, uh, CEO Mike Balch. I'm going to share a few more uh, things with you. Cardano, Shiba Inu, and one Ethereum-based altcoin witnessing exploding whale activity. This is a very interesting one. Now, this is the mass crypto adoption busy happening. An entire country, guys, I'm half Spanish, okay? Um, I have Spanish citizenship, okay? Uh, my family is half Spanish. Spain forces World Coin to halt its operations as the project claims 87% of the Spanish users support in its return. So AI-based digital asset Wild is claiming that nearly nine out of 10 of their people are supporting the project essentially for digital freedom okay so finance pool launching on solana let's go and have a look at this beautiful meme coin news over here the meme coin that shot up more than 61,000 percent in eight months will go berserk according to this crypto trader now i don't know if you guys have any of this coin but i don't have any of this coin um this is called trump trump uh, jeez guys it's gone absolutely ballistic and it's getting ready to go more ballistic i have so many things to share with you that even more of this volatility is about to come so not uh not i've uh, since changed my mind the price action has calmed down and there's a lot less volatility and i think that looks like a lot better now so many many things are about to unfold in this space and if we have a closer look with the US national debt hitting its all time high of $34,667,000,000, as the CBO warns of rising debt will reduce America's incomes, which it will. And I'm going to show you an ad, an ad later on down in the video. So make sure to stay tuned because that ad will represent what this exact exactly means and how your wealth and your income is being reduced by inflation 
and actually this is hyperinflation we're going into hyperinflation guys it's no doubt about that it just seems as though that is just what it is especially because i have constantly showed you m2 money charts on my videos go check this one out i'll leave it pinned in the card above for you now since this was done yesterday today is the 8th of june okay you're gonna see this video later but since yesterday this was 34667 today it is at 34804 which means that it's increased by 112 billion dollars since uh, about 12 hours ago okay so you can see that on the daily there's plus minus between 150 to 200 billion dollars being printed in u.s national debt every single day that is insane guys um, I don't know what you think about that, but I would definitely not want my income to reduce by this. And that's why I invest in Bitcoin and crypto assets. And without this being financial advice, you should probably consider something along those lines too. Um, and I would suggest using my private link down below. That will get you up to $30,000 deposit bonus. And my Bitflex link down below, that will get you up to $88,888 bonus and together that's $128,888 bonus and uh, I guess we're just going to have to trade and make money together. Now on the chart here before I continue I just want to very simply show you okay right now we've had an upward trend there's been higher highs here this little turn let it happen it's a small blip because we're at a very strong resistance level okay look at all of this look at all of this level so honestly why would it not reject off of that level and if it didn't i would have actually been quite concerned however like i have always said to you when bitcoin drops three four five percent like it did altcoins can drop 10, uh, like anything between 5 and 10x of that. So we did see a bloodbath happen in the cryptocurrency um, market cap yesterday. And uh, whew, that was hectic. But look what happened. We retested the support line. This is why you should not be worrying. We retested the support line. We're bouncing off of the zone very likely. And we're going to get a further continuation of trend towards the upside. Now, the market cap fell by 3% yesterday. There was a whole bunch of rubbish that happened with the GameStop Hello Kitty dude. Apparently, he was once somebody and now he's a nobody um, in comparison to what he's been doing. But look at the freaking trading volume that we have seen come in here. Two, call it $270 billion in the last 24 hours. And I'm going to show you where a lot of that money came from now imagine if we saw a trillion dollars come to this market in a day what would you do because this would 5x right now and this would be blasting right through the ceiling and that's what i personally think is going to happen so even though we're down a little bit we're still up on the week we're down a little bit on ethereum on the week but that's okay bmb is up most of the coins are kind of hovering at very very similar levels to what they have been for this entire capitulation phase because that's what it's been it's been a capitulation so only once we break out of this guys i'm i'm gonna clear this out for us i've left this like this because it's smaller time frames that we're looking at in between larger time frames on the chart and i just want to keep showing you the bounces and the bounces and the bounces so the crypto market is missing one ingredient that is critical to fueling sustained price rally, says analytics firm. Let's go and have a look at what that article is right here, as you can see. But very, just very simply, it's USD market cap growth. Okay, so the growth in the market capitalization of Tether's USDT, a proxy for fresh liquidity in crypto markets, has continued to decelerate and is now growing at the slowest pace since February uh, 11. However, Tether is still remaining at $112.3 billion market cap. So it's increased, okay? But maybe the growth has just slowed down temporarily. Ha, we'll have a look at why in a moment. So 
let's leave that news there for now but you can see that essentially the deceleration causes a number of things so first of all the spot etfs for the last 18 days have now had consecutive inflows all the way from 65 million to 305 uh to i mean that was nearly a billion dollars in the market in one day on june 4th by the way so much money is still continuing to come in yesterday i'm uh, sorry today blackrock spot with uh, etf ibit had 169.2 million dollars in inflow which was for yesterday of course friday what was thursdays because thursday i'll tell you in a moment just in blackrock now holds more than 300 000 bitcoin worth over 20 billion dollars might i remind you okay that there is only 21 million bitcoin and circulating about 19,700. so i'd actually like to show you right now while i'm in the moment here with you 19,709,400 divided by three, let's call it 300,000. They own six and a half percent of the entire Bitcoin supply. Do you know what that means? That means, and if you look at how stocks work, generally, if a company owns between nine and I think nine is nine percent is the mark, but between nine and eleven percent of the assets or the business or the shares of the business, they actually control that. They control it because they can make the market move. That's ten percent of the entire market. Imagine ten percent of the money moving in and out of the market all the time. I don't think you know what's going on here, but this has been in under five months. That never happened with any other ETF ever. Now, um, a public company, similar scientific, a tech medical tech-based company, is to raise a $150 million to buy more Bitcoin. So this market begins, okay? Because BlackRock, the Thursday, actually accumulated 347.1 million of IBIT inflows. Shots. Okay, so I'd like to share this little ad with you now. This is the um, latest ad in from uh, River and the commercial saying inflation is a hidden tax on your money. So protect your future with Bitcoin. Feel that life keeps getting more expensive. Rent, food, gas, taxes, they keep going up. But why is that? It's because of a hidden tax on your money, inflation. While you are carefully managing your Hidden tax, by the way. That's why tax, okay. Yeah, sorry, tax is an inflation against your, your money. Because tax, um, stays constant okay and essentially tax from my personal view is the biggest criminal uh scandal in the history of human civilization from a financial perspective tax is theft from you tax is a government and an institution a government dipping their fingers into the pot into your own personal pot that you've built Okay, spent your hard work, energy, efforts, and money to build across your life while all the means they're taking it to do what? Squander it and buy nice houses and fancy things and getaways and jet trips and everything while you sit there and give them, allow them to take up to 40, 50% of your money. And in some instances, in some countries, I think in Switzerland it's like 70 or 80%, even more, okay, of your entire income. I think if if it was done in the right way, I think it would be great. But here, like in South Africa, in America, in so many countries across the world, tax undoubtedly is a massive scam. It's the worst scam in the history of humankind, even worse 
than money printing, just by the way. So let's carry on here. Budget, the government is not and keeps spending more to pay off their loans. To afford all that, they create new money, which waters down the value of your money and lets you buy less in the future. In the last 100 years, the US dollar has lost over 97% of its purchasing power. Many other currencies have become worthless or disappeared. What if we had money that governments couldn't print more of? You could save for the future and build the life you have always wanted. This money is called Bitcoin. It has a fixed maximum supply that nobody can change. Bitcoin is not about getting rich quickly. It is about not getting poor slowly through inflation. Absolutely perfectly said. Okay. Not getting poor slowly through inflation. Now, so many people in Bitcoin have become rich. Mr. Jeremy Da Vinci bought Bitcoin at 87 cents. Okay. Bitcoin today is sitting at $70,000. How wealthy do you think that man is? Okay. Let's carry on. Protect your future with Bitcoin and buy with confidence on River. So, I don't know what you thought about that, but that was absolutely brilliant, right? So, protect your future with Bitcoin. The amount of dollars that I showed you, like 34, 35 trillion dollars at the moment of debt, let alone all the rest of the money is like 100, 120 trillion dollars. Now, there's something that I'm going to show you a little bit later on, so make sure to stay right to the very end. We don't have much longer left. If I have been adding value to you and your life right here, and giving you the tips and the secrets that you should be knowing, please subscribe to my channel. I would truly appreciate that. Give the video some love for the algorithm of YouTube. Now, the reason why I believe we're going to be continuing to go up now further is, first of all, the interest rates, you know, we've seen the hardest growth in forever. But in saying that, if you see here, the last five consecutive months, uh, six months, essentially were flattened at the top here. You can see that nothing has changed. And also, we do have this coming week, excuse me, uh, this coming week on Wednesday, we do have the interest rate decision coming up. So, with a few hiccups that are happening around the market, you can see that Bitcoin is getting ready to break out. In April 2017, it was down on this trend here. It was hovering around the same level that it's busy hovering with a very strong breakout getting ready to happen. From there, it went from 1,100 and four and a half X up all the way up to this point um, around you know, the September level. The same thing is gonna happen here. We're probably gonna see this Beautiful Bitcoin probably come up to the halting 200, 190, 200,000 level for now, then probably have a little bit of a pullback. And why I say that is, well, this is the most important part of it. But the ECB um, has cut interest rates for the first time in five years. The Fed is undoubtedly next, and that's exactly why I'm showing you this. So the EU, which is one of the biggest economies in the world too, um, slashed their rates by 25% and confirmed data-driven approach for the path ahead. Two, Canada also did a rate cut of 25 basis points. This is a cascade that is undoubtedly about to unfold and the Fed will not be put in, the Fed will be in a position that they will be put into to also start to reduce the rates. Which leads me on to my final analysis that I'm going to share with you on this chart. This entire market cap here for all of these is 105 trillion. But we already know that there's plus minus an estimated 4 quadrillion in the markets uh, and in all of the encompassing entire markets across the world. Okay, property, debt, everything encompassing about four quadrillion. And we're just saying this is 105 trillion. This is tiny, tiny, tiny. Because the way inflation is going to continue to go, gold has uh, had a very strong drop at the moment, and so has silver, but they're still very strong. Bitcoin's remaining under the sub 10, uh, in the top 10 category over here right now. Bitcoin 
very, very soon is going to overtake silver. Then these ones, and it is going to soon climb its way above Mr. Microsoft and push its way towards smashing through the gold market cap. Now, all I want to say is if a trillion dollars had to come into um, crypto today, I just might, I'll, might I say to you that if one trillion came into the market in the next two, three, four weeks, months, whatever it is, okay, we would see this mark just i believe that this entire market cap would end up looking like 15 to 20 trillion over this cycle because of the way money will possibly flow into this now that might be seriously unrealistic but with the spot ethereum etfs coming too and many others to follow why would we not see something that is going to absolutely rip it this is a new cap and in one day we've seen 246 billion dollars come in so why would we not potentially see okay sorry 246 billion dollars trading volume so why would we not see a trillion dollars worth of trading volume which is like a 5x from where it is right now we haven't even seen all the institutions or countries provident fund we haven't seen barely a scrape coming to this crypto market right now and if one of these trillion had to come out of that into this space my goodness me we would be pretty much 50% higher than what we would be today already. Okay, so don't be fooled by all the noise. And that's why you are subscribed to my channels right here because I'm constantly sharing with you superior alpha on this channel. You can see my trades are pumping here. I did get stopped out of my Gala trade. You can see that it actually crashed right through my, my level because I lowered my stop loss too much. And when Bitcoin dropped here, it pumped the drop okay so all my other trades here are doing very very nicely and very very well but today you can see we have not yet had a sell signal in bitcoin we've only had the buy signal in bitcoin the buy signal in bitcoin tapping on this very strong resistance horizontal level my goodness me if we take a few days to hover around if even a few weeks to hover around here that's okay there's strong resistance on this upward sloping line over here plus strong horizontal resistance, plus the um, the one on the Fibonacci level here, which is at the $69,471. So I would hope that we need to remain above that level to stay very bullish. And our next level is undoubtedly coming up to the 1.618 at about 103,000. Now, you can see, even with this hard pullback, we're just retesting the ribbon. We're retesting in consolidation. Don't be fooled and worried about any noise. Even Ethereum on the weekly, it's retesting the breakout zone over here, the horizontal resistance, because it's getting ready to make its next move up to the upside. Now, BTC dominance, like I showed you in my videos, would bounce here, hit the strong resistance there. Look how hard it hit it, and look at the sell pressure that came in here. Okay, we're now overextended on the RSI. Even though the MACD and the PMO are pushing up a little bit, it can still push up here, but it's probably gonna be rejected at that level. So now is the time for us to look at, you see, this is in an indecision candle. This is called a doji candle with the RSI at the bottom, the MACD, the PMO getting ready to pump to the upside. The total three crypto market cap is getting ridiculously time to go berserkly insane not only that on the total two we broke out here with a strong buy and a bounce off the ema and the support level here okay a little bit of resistance over here at resistance three like i've said to you for some time now okay we break out close the candle above we hover we pull back retest and now we're gonna kind of go like this the moves are coming whether you like it or not not only that the USD uh, T dominance flipped here, right at this candle. I showed you months ago, okay, that if we broke here, this was a down sloping resistance level, that we would hit this level, probably bounce back up here. Look at this level here. We bounce right here. Okay, not exact. It doesn't, it's never exact. This is what I'm saying. We don't have a length that we could rub to give us an exact but look at the amazing 
uh, bounces that we had here, rejection. Cool, even if it hovers around this level for a little bit, the next level down is over here, okay? And then if USDT dominance goes even further down than that, the next like real support level is down here at 1.5%. So I think dominance is good, but it's going to perhaps have a little bit of a breather right now. Now, the last slide I want to show you, summarizing everything that I have just given to you, hopefully you can share some love with me on the channel. I would truly appreciate that for the algorithm of YouTube. Let's get my channel to 2,000 subscribers by the end of June, you guys. Let's do this. Please, if you are watching this and are not yet subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, that would be truly appreciated. You know, it takes me like three to four hours minimum to, to prep make the record the video check the video edit the video publish the video it takes a long time so i truly hope you appreciate that benevolent blessed energy that i do for you often okay so right now we're still in the accumulate uh in fact we're actually in the buy phase still in bitcoin we're still in the buy phase and hence institutions are still buying accumulate some more in the next uh, level up so we can go and accumulate pretty much up until call it ninety thousand call it ninety thousand dollars okay we can accumulate up until about eighty five to ninety thousand dollars okay after that it's probably not going to be a good time to accumulate because it's still cheap even in the next section up here at one hundred twenty five thousand dollars okay but Honestly, by this time, and I just want to pull this down a little bit. Oh, no. Oh, uh, what's going on here? Sorry, guys. There you go. So, you can see here, 2025. So, by 2026 is where we're expecting the hype to be at. Okay. I said... Um, end of october so there just call it 11 11. i said end of october okay that's a nine hundred and fifty five thousand dollar bitcoin that's a million dollar bitcoin could a million dollar bitcoin happen this cycle what do you guys think down in the comments below and hence why you should absolutely be subscribed to my channel because i actually said to you a 10 million dollar bitcoin could be a crazy potential target for the cycle because of all the changes that have happened so if you appreciate this video